Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. Spooky laugh. (laughs) Spooky laugh. (laughs) So you, I sent you a text yesterday. Yeah. And I said, take care of yourself because you have <laughs> more than enough going on right now. It's been a wild fucking year. It has been. And you know, and I feel like I feel. The fourth week. I feel bad because it's nothing. I mean, there is shit going on for me, but it's been like everybody around me is like going through so much shit right now. And I'm like, I can't handle it. Yeah. Well, and you're always such a good support system that of course people are going to reach out yeah. to you and ask yeah. for some support. They don't even ask. You just offer. Right. It. Yeah. But I, I told which you, I never have trouble helping. You know what I mean? I'm always more than willing to help. Like I'm always so glad when I can help out when people are like going through stressful times, sure. like what can I do to help, you know? But unfortunately you have things that happen yeah. with you then that I think yeah. the stress comes out and you have a Probably. sore tooth. And <laughs> One of my few that I have. We, have, we told that you, oh God, <laughs> we told everybody on uh, the socials that we're going to talk about going to the dentist. So we're going to yeah. talk about it here and on AMP. Yeah. So go listen to both. Cause it's you're going to get two different stories. Yeah. But what happened on Monday? You said that you went into a store with a nice new shirt on, and then you had to do a mushroom reset? Oh, my God. (laughs) Tell me all about that. It's like I- Unexpected. I I knew I had a dentist appointment, so I went into work super early, you know? Sure. Because I knew I was- And I only ended up clocking out like 20 minutes early to make it to my dentist appointment, and of course, I was 30 minutes early to my dentist appointment. Of course. (laughs) Because anxiety. Yeah. (laughs) So <laughs> you said you even stopped at home almost thinking about doing some nervous poops, but then yeah, you didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. I was like, just go to the fucking dentist, Cass, you know? <laughs> so yeah. So I get to work and I like start doing stuff. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden we get this email and it's like, oh, hey guys, you know, we've been talking about it in the team's meetings. Like we're going to be doing these mushroom resets. And oh. I'm like, am I losing my mind? <laughs> because every Tuesday we have a team's meeting. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Today I forgot about it. So oh, I did- no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, well, it was probably one I missed that we were talking about it. So I called a coworker and I was like, when did we talk about doing these mushroom res- resets? And she was like, I don't fucking know. Oh, no. <laughs> it had to have been the week that you were so off. I Something. I don't know. Like right into the new year. Where, didn't like, you take the week off after yeah, the new I year? Did, yeah, I did. And that was a Tuesday. Yeah. So maybe, yeah. But yeah, I was laughing so hard. So of course, the first store I go to, you know, and normally it's a four foot set. It's no big deal. You're just moving this mm-hmm. around and blah, blah, blah. First store I walk into, it's an eight foot set. And they're <laughs> like, oh yeah, there's only like five stores that have eight foot sets. So there's directions in there for it. Yeah, it's an eight foot set. I have to remove shelves. Oh. I have to... So I remove a shelf and I see the state of the shelf and I'm like, (gasps) this is freaking disgusting. So I told the manager, I was like, go get me some sanitizer, go get me some paper towels because I'm going to at least wipe these down before I put them back in. And his face was kind of like, oh, you know, yeah, (laughs) because it's like, you know, they have like the wet wall, Mm -hmm, right, where mm -hmm. all the vegetables get sprayed Mm -hmm. that gets cleaned all the time. I'm sure they probably have that on their weekly rotation. Yeah, there's some stores that don't do it. Well, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> you always got those one stores. But I was in a store where I thought they were they were pretty on top of their sure. stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. I was very surprised to see. The shelves were dirty. The shelves were dirty. I guess you don't expect... Well, mushrooms do have dirt on them, but they're always they wrapped. Do. So you yeah. don't really expect the shelves to be dirty. Like a packaged area, you don't right, really think exactly. it's going to get that dirty. Yeah, you know? so probably a little surprising. Yeah. Can I also, before you finish this or continue with this story, is say that you're not afraid of resets. No. It just so happened to be like yeah. Monday morning, Monday morning, foot, yeah. unique one, It was and dirty. the worst yeah. situation yeah. I could have walked into. You never care what you're doing during yeah. the day. Let me know what I need to do and I'm going to do it. And I would have worn a t-shirt to work. Right. Right, you had like a nice outfit on knowing you were going to the yeah. dentist because you had so much stress these past four weeks that your tooth like, was I'm going to be confident. <laughs> so yeah, but anyways, I got it done, you know, and so then I'm laughing because then, of course, I call a coworker again and I said, did you have any eight foots? Because today I walk into work and I'm like, no way this is an eight foot. It was an eight foot, you know? <laughs> and she goes, yeah, and these two stories. And I go, okay, well, that's our five. They said about five were eight feet. I think we're we got almost the done. Five yeah, done, yeah, you know. 
I'm sure I'll walk in tomorrow. Oh, you'll have to footage. follow up with all of us and let us know. <laughs> Anyways, it's not too terrible. It's I, just a swip swap, so. Oh, it is? That's yeah. what it is? Yeah. I feel like eight foot would be just kind of the norm. You know, in people the, love mushrooms. Yeah, the eight foot direction is double everything, you know? So if it says it has two facings, you put four. If it says it has <gasps> okay. one facing, you put two. So, so are you expanding it then? No. Mm-mm. So it's no. already there. It's you walk in, there. it's already yeah. there. It's yeah. just kind of new yeah. tags and all yeah. that, like a so, nice refresh. Yeah, the first day, it took me five hours to do Sure, that. of course, it's new. Because I'm pulling all the shelves off. I'm cleaning them. I'm putting it back the way it wasn't set in any way that it was supposed of to. Of course, yeah. And their expectation is one a day, you know, so okay. that's not oh, so bad, Okay, right? so you have a few hours then to do other yeah, things. Yeah, do other okay. things or hit another store to do some other stuff, oh, whatever. okay. So today I walked into my first store. It was an eight-foot set, and I was like, God oh, damn it, you know? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, cool. I don't have to take any shelves out. They were all pretty much set right. I didn't have to really move them or anything. Yeah. So I was able to go to a second store, and theirs was, like, already set. Like, oh. they had very few things that I just had to, like, you know, they were like sliced mushrooms should have been before the whole mushrooms or whatever. You sure, know? sure. So I just had to move that around. Otherwise, it was all set and it was a four foot and I was like, boom, got two done in one day. So I love managers that actually download the pogs and go, yeah. hey, let's help these people out before they come in. Yeah. They can just check our work. Well, the, it said in the email that back in October, most of the stores should have been reset. <gasps> okay. And I do remember because we do rep some product in this set. And I remember one day I saw some people that I didn't recognize over there, like messing with it. And I was like, let me help you out. I'm going to print you some tags because I see some are missing. Do you need anything else? And they handed me the POG Mm. and said, yeah, can you just print all new tags for this? And I was like, no problem, blah, blah, blah. So they were doing it back then. But you know how store people are where they just... Put it where it of fits. course, especially on a weekend. Yeah. When you're so. not even worried about it, you just need to get it yeah. out there for customers to yeah. buy and you're like, me. Yeah. You know, or and maybe like the part timer that doesn't look at the SKUs right. to match or UPCs well, to that match. Was another up. thing, I walk up to the eight foot section today. They have all of the basil in the fridge. Now, if you work produce, oh. you know one of the few things, it's like onions, potatoes, and basil and tomatoes are like the only things that don't get refrigerated. Yeah, don't refrigerate You know, them. so everything else can go in the fridge. The berries, the lettuce, the everything else, you yep, know, yep. the carrots, whatever. Do not put basil in the fridge. It yeah. will turn black immediately. Mm. Never fail that, you know, they would leave just a couple packets out for anyone that's shopping at night. The nurses. Right. Although we had a lot of nurses, doctors that would come through after a long day. That was and, back in the day when we were up in 24-7. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. And yeah. they would, you know, there's there was always a woman like on a Thursday night. I always closed on Thursday night, opened on Friday, and she would say, you have any strawberries? I have to walk back to the, <laughs> you know. So we finally started saying, leave five packets out right. you know, or packages out. By the time she gets here, maybe there'll be one or two. And yeah. she would always grab whatever you, you brought out. Yeah. So, yeah. But, and it would be around 11 o'clock at night. Strawberries are good. Yeah, yeah. But you but you always have to put them back in yeah, the cooler. Yeah. And they would have them on the floor for the day, which is, you know, come to think of it, that is strange, wouldn't it? They would have them out yeah. on the floor all day. Yeah. Not in a cooler. Yeah. But then they would put them overnight back in the cooler. Yeah. Huh. Well, that was when Just I waitressed. We would leave the ketchup out all day on the table, but at the end of the night, you collected them up. You know, you would condense yeah. them, and then you would put them in the cooler. Interesting. Yeah. Do you leave your butter out on the counter? Absolutely. Yeah, I do not. We do not. I know. So Weird. we have rock hard butter <laughs> ripping into our toast every I morning. I should actually, I got Kevy one and I bought somebody else one also. Is it with the water on the bottom yes. thing? Yes. The butter boat. Yes. 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 So a lot of people have a butter bell. So it's a bell shape and you have to soften your butter, shove it up in there. You put water in the crock and you like dip it down into the water. Yes. I found this one where it's, you know, the the shape of a stick Mm -hmm. and you put water in the bottom and then you put the next container, you put a stick of butter in there and then it has a lid. Yeah. So the, the water keeps it soft. Johnny still complains it's not soft enough, but he would eat country crock if I let him. So, okay. okay. And I won't let him eat that. Yeah. We're an earth balance family, but it stays in the fridge. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't know how it was. I think I actually went to my aunt's house and she had her earth balance out on the table and I was surprised to see it, but it looked a little darker yellow. Yeah. I don't know if my stomach well, can handle Earth that. Well, Earth Balance, I think, is like soybean oil or something, yeah, probably, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's just vegetable oil. It'll probably be fine probably on be the fine. counter. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. But it's probably spreadable still out of the fridge a little bit yeah, or no? It still rips no. up your. Yeah. I mean, it's basically like it's bagel material. Yeah. You know, it's definitely you need not a stiff, yeah. low carb 
piece yeah. of toast yeah. because it just <laughs> rips the crap out of it. I've seen a lot of people take like either a potato peeler or a shredder to a stick of butter. Oh my gosh. Or hard butter to kind of get it, you know, and just do it right over their toast. Is there such thing as like a uh, butter art? Because I'd be interested in that. Yeah. Like like artists that actually like do different things with butter. Oh my gosh. Speaking of this, hold on a second. I just had I just had a thought. So Steve goes shopping. He comes uh-huh. home and he's putting something on a dish. And he goes, it's my finishing butter. It's my finishing touch, my finishing butter. Okay. And I was like, you're what? You know, <laughs> what are you talking about? Being a wife. He, and he shows me the top and he goes, it's my finishing butter. And sure as shit, it says finishing butter really? on there. I never even knew that was a thing. Huh. And it would had herbs in it or whatever. Okay. You know, it was one of those. Okay. He says it's one where you, you cook it. Yes. You put it on your plate. You put the finishing butter on okay. top. All the chefs are listening going, yeah. stop it, Meredith. You don't yeah. know what you're talking about. But this was all new to me. And I was like, what? Okay. So, of course, I had to look it up. And what do right. you do it, use it for? Well, so and all that like, kind of is stuff. that like when you sear a steak? Yes. And then you finish it and you spoon little it up dollop, on top of little, it? A little yeah. dollop of something. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. I did not know it was called finishing yeah. butter. Well, um, and you were talking about butter art, you know, around yeah. the holidays. Yes. Easter's coming. There's always Lambs. some lamb-shaped mm-hmm. butter. Mm-hmm. And then have you seen the butter boards? No. Remember you did the frosting board for something <gasps> at my house? Did we yes. do Hocus Pocus or something? I think it was. Yes. And you smeared the frosting. Yes. And we dipped apples and stuff in Pretzels it. Pretzels and, it was so and good. strawberries. And- so I saw this one girl I follow on um, TikTok, and she did it with butter. And so she she smushed butter all over this board. She put some um, seasoning on it. There was like one, like down the middle, she put some like chili flakes, you know, just one, one kind of oh, spicy yeah, one, you know. Yeah, yeah. She sprinkled it with sea salt and, you know, put seasoning on the other side. It's like garlic or, you know, whatever you want. And then you just take your bread and you dip it and eat it. I was going to mm. say, what do you dip in there? Yeah. The only thing I can think of is bread. Yeah. Different kinds of bread. bread. Or? I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoyed <laughs> saltines with butter. Oh, when oh, I was like, oh. if I'd eat soup, I would put salt. Absolutely. With butter. <laughs> we used to do that all the time when I was little. I completely forgot yeah, about that. I think that was poor people food. We're not poor anymore. We don't have <laughs> right, to do right. That. Well, now we sprinkle some, you know, garlic on there, yeah. or slice a half a tomato or something on now our saltine like, and I have butter. Garlic bread money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need saltines and butter. I have garlic bread. You know, I can't even tell you the last time I bought saltines. I think we have we have a Do bath. You? Yeah. I Steve I don't know why. It. Because when I make chili, like saltines are good in chili if you don't get oyster crackers. I was gonna say, do you do oyster crackers? That's what I do. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. like we got oyster cracker money now, you yeah. know? Like <laughs> <laughs> name brand yeah. or Always <laughs> not store brand. Well, no. it's probably saltine brand. I think it's the one yeah, that right, makes right. the oyster. Crackers. That's great. <laughs> we got oyster cracker money. <laughs> we got oyster cracker money. They're like, the pack of it's like a dollar more than saltines. I'm like, I'm splurging. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let me go get my Campbell soup with these really expensive oyster crackers. <laughs> What's your favorite soup? Um, I. Like, do you mean canned soup? Because no, no, I don't eat what you make, soup. what yeah. you make, yeah. Um, I know we all make think, homemade. I don't think I have a favorite. Like, really, I like all my soups. Yeah, soup, and it depends usually... on the season, right? You yeah. got your split pea and ham. I after don't do Easter? split pea. Okay, Ew. okay. No. What do you do after I Easter do, ham? I do. It's it's called Ham's fifteen bean soup. <gasps> yes, I think I, I've talked yes, about it on have. here before. You have. Yeah. And you got to use the ham flavor packet that comes yes, in it. That's right. And that is one of my favorite soups. I also absolutely love French onion soup. Oh, it's my favorite. Yeah. I'll whip that up yeah. like at least once a week. I love it. Steve will see me bringing an onion to the counter. Yeah. He's like, You're going to make French onion yeah. soup? I'm like, absolutely. Where's so the provolone? Johnny used to, um, years ago, he would stop at a place in Wisconsin somewhere. It was on the side of the road. The guy sold potatoes, onions, you know, produce, shit like that. And he would come home with a 50-pound bag of potatoes and onions. Amazing. And we would eat the shit out of some French onion soup oh, with yeah. those onions. Like, I would ju- I would cut up, like, 10 of them and put it in there. They were big, too. I think I wonder if this is the same. I thought it was Knights of Columbus, maybe, or something. Okay. They would sell sweet onions. Oh, yeah. By one of the banks or the churches here okay. down by my parents' house. Anytime I see them out there, which I haven't seen them in a couple yeah. years. But anytime, it was like... 
fifty dollars a bag, and yeah. it was the same thing, huge. huge. And we would just yeah. use it all. I would put all onion in everything. Yeah, you know, I was laughing because my sister was over recently, and she's like, "You always have onion," you know, and she's like, "I never have onion. I always just use like onion powder." I'm like, "Man, I put onion in everything." Yes, yes. that's like. I don't, is that white people seasoning? I is don't know. onions. <laughs> well, I heard white people don't season. I we know, always get in trouble for that. It's well, like well, we season in our house. Salt and pepper, yeah. yeah. TikTok taught me how to season. Absolutely. Yeah. I've learned a lot from I there. found Tony's on TikTok, yep. and I put I put it on everything. Yeah. Literally. We have like a hamburger seasoning. I put that on everything, like even my eggs. Yeah. You know? Yes. <laughs> because I just like it's all the so different, good. you know. Yeah. Uh, I did stroganoff last night for the first that time in a long so time. Speaking good. of onions, yeah. I made two batches, right? One with my meat and one for Steve and Julia because yeah. she eats meat now. Yeah. And I had two batches and both of them, well, what I've heard from the other one turned out so yeah. good. I even called my mom because I said, I have not made this in years. And she used to make it at least once a month when we were younger. Yeah. I said, when do I put in the sour cream? Oh, Like, okay. you know, like the way yes. that she does it. And she said- do it last. Yeah. Just bring it back up to the to boil heat to yeah. heat it, right? Yeah. With the, the cold sour cream in there yeah. for about two and a half minutes. Oh, did it turn out so phenomenal. Good. Like, so I don't good. even know if I'd be able to do it again. I just kind of like whipped it together. Yeah. But I, onions, you got to yeah. have great gotta onions. Have onions. And we did mushrooms, which mushrooms. we actually didn't grow up with it. With mushrooms in it because no. my dad doesn't like mushrooms. Oh, so we did that. We did onions, mushrooms. I used cream of onion soup. I was actually, say, for mine, my mom probably used cream of mushroom soup, and, and yes. that was the un- or the mushroom we got. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, which makes sense. Yeah, and um, but yeah, I did. We had two cans, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna go buy more cans. I'm just gonna use the cream of mushroom and the cream of onion. So I think Julia and Steve got the onion, and I got the mushroom. Yeah, but oh my gosh, it turned out so fabulous good. and it so much. So good. I didn't make it spicy. Yeah, but it was. Just just so good. Like I just put a lot of pepper in it. And yeah. Just so good. That's so good. delicious. Yeah. And then threw some sour cream in at the end. Yeah. I but like, um, um, when we were growing up, we ate a lot of, um, what the hell is encore meals? Okay. Right? Oh yeah. So the Salisbury, Salisbury steaks, steaks, right? Yeah. So once I became an adult and I started making my own money, I was like, I am not buying that garbage. Like Johnny will eat Stouffer's lasagna and I can't, I yeah. cannot do it. But I, I make lasagna, you mm-hmm, know, so, mm-hmm. um, but so after I got married and everything and I wanted Salisbury steaks. And so I grilled burgers mm-hmm. and I made brown gravy yep. and then I put the grilled burgers in the brown gravy and then we ate it with mashed potatoes. And I was like, Encore could never, yeah. You know, like what, what kind of burgers then do you do? Just, you... just like 80, 20 ground 80, beef. 80, 20. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So or good. whatever you got, you know. Yeah. We'll have to do that next yeah. week too. Oh, I'm so sure that they'll good. love that. So good. Yeah. So, and then how about some grilled onions with it or no? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And are you the, are you, you and Johnny, do you like bread with everything or whoever's no. over? No. Can you just eat the I, main course? I just recently sent my sister a TikTok that it was like, you know, if you grew up poor, this was your side dish and it was bread and butter. And my sister still does to this day eat bread and butter. Like if she has a salad, she has to have bread and butter. If she has a bowl of soup, she has to have bread and butter, you know, where I don't really, it's terrible, but only when I eat Italian, I'll do garlic bread, you know? Oh, sure, so it's like, sure. I have to have pasta and bread. Yes, you know? yes. We well, need something for the sauce. Yeah, but any other meal, I don't really... And that was my great grandma too. She would always take five or six slices of bread, put them on a plate, you know, bring the butter out, the softened butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we would always have bread and butter for dinner, but I don't do that. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do, do with you? everything. Yeah. I'll have a piece of toast or a bagel in the morning. I'll have like a yeah. sandwich in the afternoon. Yeah. And then we do toast and whatever yeah. for night. Yeah. Or we'll do like crostinis with Ooh. some dip. You know, I mean, like you're talking dip. crostinis now. Yeah. Now that's a different story. <laughs> That ain't no Wonder Bread with Country Crack on it. This is fancy money yes. now. We do crostini we sometimes. Crostini money. <laughs> Have but you yeah, ever done like do. you toast the crostini and then you rub it with the garlic? Uh, you know? no, oh, no, I've never done that either. Tell and Steve I want about that to. when we're done. Yeah. He would love that. He yeah. makes roasted garlic mm. in the oven, and so we do crostinis. <sighs> So I, I guess it is that. similar, yeah. and then you can—I mean, you can do vegetables yeah. with the pita chips, Yum. anything you want. So, so pitas, good. those that's pretty fancy too. You do you ever get like just the, yes. the pita rounds, and then you cut them in triangles and 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 no. uh, fry them up a little bit. I don't, but I I do love the non bread. Yeah, right? same, pitas. same. Yeah. yeah, yep. And I will pop them in the toaster, and then just 
I've done, I've made breakfast pizza on it. Oh, yes, yeah, Steve I've loves I've made that regular too. pizza on it. I've just eaten it with butter on it. Those are so freaking delicious. So yeah. good. And if you ever, like, get Indian takeout, like, you'll be like, stone fire who? Because <laughs> their non bread is so, so yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. I love that bread. Yeah. Isn't it a thing where they're, they're like beat up against a rock and stuff? Is that, or is that the old? <laughs> Like what commercial do I see on TikTok where they're like, <laughs> I think and it's on a rock. That probably sounds terrible tortillas. in people's ears. Sorry. I think that's tortillas. Oh, oh maybe. maybe. Like all I can picture is like a, a bowl, a ball of a something ball of dough. and they're just yeah. like smacking it yeah. down. And then I don't, I don't, yeah. I have no patience to like continue watching the nons, stuff. So. They cook. It's like, you know, a big oven almost, but you're standing, it's in the ground right? Oh. There's a fire down below. They stick the non to the wall oh. of the oven. Yeah. So no rocks. I mean, maybe they use <laughs> rocks. I just keep picturing like a, a, like a Latino lady, like grinding up corn. You know, I think you're tortillas. right. You're right. And I just don't know the difference because I'm terrible at cooking. <laughs> you're way better. And you'd be telling me what it was. And I'd just be like, Oh, that looks good. You I don't know. know. My TikTok like 98 point is Nine food? percent is food. Yeah. <laughs> and they know. And there's this one chick. I think she lives in Arizona. And she has this outdoor kitchen. And she cooks the most. And I just want to be her friend. Like. Is she out so in the good. cabin? No. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I no. watch one in a cabin. That's what I do. It's all rustic. <laughs> People that are out in the middle of nowhere doing all this stuff. Yeah. I don't know why. I, why Is that? it like Romania and stuff? It looks like. <sighs> I watch those too. I don't know. Where they're literally in the field and they're like canning. They call it salad. Like we're canning salad today, but it's like pickled vegetables, you know? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now that you said it, maybe I'll, I'll be able to find yeah. that too. And they got dogs running around and like chickens and shit. Those people are cool too. They sometimes like live in off these the videos land. they have chickens and sometimes they yeah. don't. And then they're cooking chicken. I'm like, yeah. that's oh, sad. Oh, God. <laughs> You're like, I know where you got that from. Oh, I don't want to see the rest That's of the video. That's a circle of life. That's a circle of life. Then you have to life. click the, like, what do you call it when they have the eyeball with the block? Like, oh, do you want to watch this? You don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Keep scrolling. It's like may contain sensitive content. <laughs> yes, yes. And you're like, I, my heart broke for that chicken. <laughs> um, so I looked up all the different bread varieties Ooh, in the world. Okay, okay. Um, but I don't think it's anything that we wouldn't know. I think okay. this is probably the most popular ones. Why don't you give me the description and I'll, um, I'll tell a you a basic what bread is. made from wheat, flour, water, yeast and salt. That's white bread. Yep. That's wonder bread. Similar to white bread but made with whole wheat. Well, <laughs> wheat bread. <laughs> made from a mixture of different grains such as wheat, oats, barley. Is that whole grain bread? Multigrain. Multigrain, yep. yep. yeah, mm -hmm. which is my favorite. I like CD bread. Do you like CD I bread? I do like CD bread. When I So I found this new bread, and I believe it's called Rustic Oven. <gasps> yes. And they sell it in like half loaves so for like good. $4. Oh, my god! This is what I mean when I talk about having adult food money. <laughs> $4 for a freaking half a loaf of bread. But you take the very first piece, you cut that in half. It makes a whole sandwich. Oh yeah. 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 And it's so good. And they make like a sourdough one too, but I've never tried anything but the seedy one. Yeah. So and good. I love that. So good. Uh, this one uses a natural fermentation process. You just sourdough, said it. um, a long thin loaf of French bread with crispy crust. What it French loaf? What baguette. do they call that? Oh, a baguette. A baguette. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. It's got a soft interior. Yeah. Um, Italian bread with a rustic appearance characterized by its irregular shape, open crumb structure, and chewy texture. Oh, I don't know what that one is. Uh, ciabatta. Oh, ciabatta. That was kind of, that you know wasn't what? the greatest explanation for that. That's not my favorite bread either. Yeah. I'm not a fan of ciabatta. It's too hard. Yeah. And you know what? Now that I have Invisalign, my jaw locks on stuff. Yeah. So to chew that on a sandwich yeah. really affects my face. Yeah. So then I just don't do it. No. Um, uh, made primarily from rye flour. Rye bread. Yeah, it kind of gives it away. I like rye bread with corned beef. It says it has a dense texture and distinct flavor. I love. Do you, dark rye, light rye, seeded, unseeded? What do you like? All of the All above. All of the above, yeah. same. Marble rye, yum. I feel like someone in my family does not like rye, so we never buy it, but I will yeah. buy it in March. Yeah. Right? Corned well, beef and- people make fun of me, like, if we go to breakfast and I get rye toast, oh, they're like, oh, what are you, a fucking 90? And I was like, so yes. so good with eggs? <laughs> forget <laughs> yeah. it. With jam on it? And, oh, mm, forget it. So good. Uh, round pocket-like bread. 
Pita. Yes. Uh, uh, eleven oven baked flatbread. We already talked about it. Oh wait, eleven. I think my sister in law oven- calls oh. it the Kardashian. Bread. Um, is it the one you poke your fingers in? Non. Focaccia. Oh, Ooh. non. Yeah. <laughs> Focaccia is probably traditional on there. Jewish bread. Hala. Hala. Rich buttery bread of French origin. French bread. Brioche. Bri- oh, brioche yeah. is like one of my favorites, so too. Good. That is so good. You get one of them buns a little toasty. Oh, forget mm. it. Italian flatbread topped with some fun stuff like tomatoes or jalapenos. or it? Focaccia. <laughs> there you go. Focaccia. I'm That's doing it. the fingers. <laughs> I know. I'm like coffee in your <laughs> You got to dig your fingers in it after it rises. I think focaccia might be one of my favorite, but it's so doughy. Like, I have to be mm. starving to eat it. Really? Oh, I could eat that anytime. I saw a chick. Uh, uh, I'll name her. She's on TikTok. It's Little Cajun House. Oh. And she makes some good shit. And she's yep. from Egypt. Amazing. I just recently, like, watched more in-depth some Does she of live her in the videos. States? She lives in Texas. Okay. And she's originally from Egypt. And I would I I don't know. Maybe I just have a a stereotypical Egypt person in my head. Oh. I would have never thought she was Egypt. Sure. But she takes um, pizza dough. You know, you can buy like frozen pizza dough balls. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she lets it rise. And then she spreads it out in a 9 by 13, an oiled 9 by 13, lets it rise again, pokes it, puts her toppings on, and makes it focaccia. Oh, and amazing. it looks so good. And like, because so I'm, I'm not a fan of focaccia bread either, but that one, Looks delish, huh? I'd eat it. Uh, my other favorite, which wasn't mentioned here, is Hawaiian. The oh, Hawaiian yeah. roll. The sweet rolls. Yeah. Sweet rolls. Yeah. So good. Yeah. In the middle of the night, I'll wake up and I'll be like, mm, am I hungry? <laughs> and I'll just go get like a piece of cheese, <laughs> cut up a little small little square. I saw someone making, um, they kind of like um, leveled up their grilled cheese and tomato Ooh, soup. Oh, yeah. And they cut the, um, the Hawaiian rolls or sweet rolls in fours actually put a whole bunch of cheese okay. smashed them on yeah. bread and cooked them and it yeah. was like crispy little mm. hawaiian and cheese rolls with their yeah. tomato soup i'm like what about your fried cheese have you <gasps> have you still been eating that and you wrap it with you a were pickle like obsessed with that yeah forever. it's so good yeah. i actually just found grilling cheese you yes. actually are you just put the whole chunk on there yes. and it just grills it and you can slice it up yeah so for those that may not be i know i know if you follow me on snapchat or whatever i do it all the time but i just take a slice of cheese White, usually just white or American cheese, I guess they call it, or actually really anything. I do provolone. And you fry it. Make sure you have a pan that doesn't stick because yeah. it's a pain in the butt. I've thrown well, you a know pan what? out and before. I feel like the trick is, is you have to be patient with you it. You do have to be patient. Like, don't try to move it. Don't try no. to, like. Let it, it boil. You let it go. Yeah. And get it brown. And it gets a little brown around yeah. the edges. And you flip it. You put a pickle on yeah. in the middle. And then you fold it over. That is and then wild. you have, like, the. And for those that eat sweet pickles, we all know I, I don't like you. Yeah. But it's the dill pickles that are the best flavor. I mean, obviously, people are disagreeing with me. But I use dill with it and then the cheese yeah. with the dill. It is such a great snack. It keeps you full, too. Yeah. And then if you you know run like me or work out or on your feet all the time yeah. in retail, if your legs are a little crampy, it just helps with the cramps. Johnny loves pickle juice. Yes. People drink the shit out of pickle juice. So it does. It, it really, yeah. like, after a long run, I'll make something like that just yeah. before maybe taking a shower or something. Fills me up, makes all the cramps go away. Yeah. I love it. It's a perfect snack. I like taking like either mozzarella or like the chihuahua cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I sprinkle a pretty thick layer of that in the pan and I let it brown for quite some time. Amazing. I throw some pepperonis on top and then I throw a tortilla on it. Oh, my gosh. And then once you flip it, you know, let the tortilla cook a little bit on that side and then... You can either roll it up, you can add sauce, you can just fold it. You can just So good. Yeah. Eat it like a pizza. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, now that everyone's hungry. hungry. Sorry, yeah, guys. we talked about mushrooms, onions, yeah. cheese, pickles, mm, all that soups, fun stuff. Yum, bread. Let's go over to Anxiety Makes Me Poop and talk okay. about your dentist oh, appointment fun. and your tooth. Yeah. All right. Okay. So thanks everybody for listening. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Go listen to the other episode. Goodbye. Sorry, you're hungry now. <laughs> Hope it's lunchtime. <laughs>